the awful outside. A lot of families have been spending a lot of time indoors lately. If you got kids, you may be running out of things to do. Today we are talking puzzles, and Kevin is here to talk about a really good idea to not only entertain the uh, family, Kevin, but also to help all of us uh, keep our brains sharp at the same time. Yeah, that's and today's right. National Puzzle Day. That's right. Today's National Puzzle Day, Vince. Um, you know, what most people don't know is that puzzles are fun, but they, you can use them at home to help build cognitive skills in your kids, which is real important for their success in the classroom. Um, you know, when your kid's struggling in the classroom, 80% of all learning struggles, like if I struggle with reading or mm -hmm. math or attention issues like ADD, ADHD, mm -hmm. are directly related to a weakness in a cognitive skill. And puzzles are just a great way to work that at home. It's a tool that you can use at home, and it's fun. Yeah, and you can get them off the iPad or the computer screen or whatever and get them into something real that you can touch and sit down and uh, enjoy absolutely. together. I like that, too. Absolutely. Uh, this is a classic. I know we got at least one or two of these at home, you know, the map puzzle. Oh, yeah. That engages you in that social studies conversation, too. Yeah, absolutely. This is a great puzzle. You've got, you know, the, you've got big shapes. You've got little shapes. You've got colors. So you're working visual processing. You have to work a little bit of strategy because as you dump the pieces out, you got to go, okay, am I going to work from the West right. Coast to the East Coast, East Coast to the West Coast? And as you said, you know, you've, you've got information about each state, so you get a little bit of a social studies lesson. Classic jigsaw puzzle here. For, for kids, are the ages pretty close on these? They usually recommend, you know, I mean, uh, are they pretty close on the age recommendations? Well, what you, what you want to look at is for toddlers, you mm -hmm. know, use the puzzles that have the pegs in them so they can right, move sure the pieces easily. Yep. You know, th this puzzle here that we just talked about, that's great for middle schoolers, then moving up into the jigsaw puzzle, and then um, this one corridor that I that I brought with me. This is a great game and a puzzle, and so mm -hmm. this is great for like high schoolers because it's a lot of strategy as well as it's visual. Um, so a lot of great options out there. Oh, and kids like to play their parents in games too, you know. I mean, oh, that's absolutely. That's one place you can actually get together that, on something. Right. And then of course the classic Connect Four with a little uh, sports twist. That's right. That's a big. That's a big hit with uh, a lot of our students. So. You know, you get in there and you get a little competition, Packers, Bears. Now, in my house, I always have to be the Bears. That's Nobody wants fair. to be the Bears. <laughs> but I am relentless. I will try to win. All right. Excellent. Well, great yeah. tips, Kevin. Thanks so much. And where yeah. can we find you out in Brookfield? So um, we're actually real near Gerke's Corners on Swenson Drive. And um, look, if your child is struggling in school and they don't like to do puzzles or games at home, give us a call. We have lots of great information. We'd, be love, to we'd love to help people. All right. Thanks for sharing with us today.